welcome. Uh, Morris Taylor here today. Uh, businessman, father, grandfather, uh, successful family in the local area, uh, and steeped in the Drippertown tradition uh, of living here, working here, and uh, building employment here, and a name that has been steeped, I suppose, in this area for a long, long time. Morris, you're most welcome. I'll shake your hand because you're the closest person I've ever uh, sat beside and uh, thank you for coming on to see me today and thank you for being here. I should have said too, you're a young gentleman in your 90s, isn't that right? Yeah, I'm 92. 92 and I will not tell the people out there the magic sauce and, and the magic food you have to eat to live to 92. That's a secret between Morris and me and anybody who wants to know to have a long life, we can chat to me and Morris after this year. Isn't that right, Morris? Hey. Thank you. So, Morris, thank you for coming in to speak to me today. Uh, I would like to start off with, I was chatting to you downstairs and you were giving me a, a beautiful timeline of this area in Drippertown. And uh, so for people out there who don't know uh, the Taylor family who may be listening to this and may be listening to it in the future. Um, I would like to start off by asking you about your mother and father and uh, how they came about living in the town and if you can remember a wee bit back in the days about that and your growing up. Well, if you know the countryside, uh, the Town community, my father come from a place called Carnamoni. Carnamoni. And beside the, the, the bridge, uh, Waddle's Bridge. Yes. Uh, it was where the house is still there, where he was born. Brilliant. At, down at, at Carnamoni. Uh, it was about, what, two, three, two, three mile outside of town. And did you live there first? Did you live no, there a while? No, no, that's when my father was, born. where he was raped. Yes. On a, on a small farm there. And he come in. Uh, eventually, I don't know the back, background, but he come in to Draperstown and he bought, bought the property no one now is. He bought the pro property and developed it into a business sh shop. That That's situated now in the, the supermarket in High Street, Draperstown. Yes, yeah, just out the front of the corn yes, store. That's yes. right. And uh, what, can you remember what date that would have been when your parents first started the shop? It might have been. Uh, in the late 20s. Yeah. And what did the town look like then, Morris? You know, what was it like? You know, was it... Across the top row, it was called High Street, and it was all a complete row of, of houses, right from the... From one end, one end was the police barracks, and the, and the other end was the parochial house, but known as Father McLynch's. Oh, McGlinchey's house. He was, he finished up at being Dean Dean McGlinchey. The and the, the Dean McGlinchey Park was named after him. The, the Dean then Dean was done up a straw. Yes, that's correct. Pitch, that's correct. And uh, so when your parents back in them days in the nineteen twenties, what kind of uh, uh, articles and stuff would have been in the shop? From a needle to an anchor, you may say. Yes. Yeah. There was some um, plow parts, agri agricultural parts. Um, meal, was there meal? And was there meal, you know, like feed for the uh, Feeding stuff, animal, animal food stuff, and um, groceries and, and light hardware. Yeah, and in them days of, of, of the measurements, you know, they, they've changed the measurements now. In them days, what would the kind of, you know, people coming in for, what would they have been looking for? You know, there wouldn't have been much money, I would imagine, about Morris. You know? There wouldn't have been much money in in the town. And every weekend, there was one particular horse. A man in his tra trap and his wife arrived in every every weekend from, from money, you know. And them days back, I suppose, for people out there, um, uh, so we can inform them. Would it all been horse and cart? Horse and cart. Yes. Or mostly this man. I'm talking about Henry. I can't remember his first name. It'll come to maybe when you. But there was um, uh, he he come in with his wife and the trap to do his groceries every every once a week. Yeah, and was there like uh, 
and your parents' shop, could people get tech or did they have to pay there and then? Could they, you know, could they? There was, lot of, there was a lot of credit. Uh, yeah. And a lot of, and all that cash, but it was mostly uh, whether it was for, whether it was for feeding stuff or for animal feed stuff or what have you. It could uh, depend on whether they're running a counter or what, running a counter or yeah. what have you. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. And, and I suppose back in them days too, um, I suppose for people, um, out there now that live in the parish, uh, Morris, who would have been the names? What kind of names would have been living in the area back in the 1920s and oh, 30s? Oh, Dripperstown. Ah, yeah, in Dripperstown. Or, or there was the Kellys, and there was the Gormleys, and there was McKenna's, and, and, and then way back in the 20s, in the High Street in Dripperstown, when you, when you run from the, what I call, the, from the parochial house, what it was called, called Dean McLinchy's house, right to the police barracks, there was the um, Clinton. McClinton. Clinton. There was McClinton's there. Yeah, yeah. And there was the Molly Murray's pub there. Yeah. And um, Reagan's, the butcher's people, that's where their original house was. Up at the, the top the, end. That's right. There you go. And the Reagan's run a, an hotel at one stage up there and where... where um, well, yeah, they would say where Molly Murray has pub now. I was just running into an hotel, Mrs. Reagan. And that's where all the Reagan family, from right from Mickey Reagan, Barney Reagan, Father Father Reagan, John Reagan, all the Reagans lived there. They were a big they family. Were there, they were there, and then they they run their their butcher shop and all down the shambles. Yeah, and, and just uh, uh, the shamels. Was the shamels always a place for trading cattle and or was it goods or what What was it back it was, in the old uh, days? It like? was uh, the, uh, the, uh, kind of a market's place in yeah, a sense. Yeah, yeah. Because they had way bridges, uh, public way bridges in there and it was run then for public use, you know. Yeah, and for, for just people to come and sell yeah. and buy. and Yeah, it was... Uh, and it was, uh, it was some sheep or even some pigs was in the heart. Yeah. Pigs come in with a car horse and cart and things like that come in for the shamans there for, uh, for the to sell. sell you know, yeah. And where were them people came from, Morris? Oh, just in the local community within the rural, rural area. Yeah. Just Mostly all rural. They weren't coming from far distance, but they're coming from rural background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and the farms in them days, would they have been small? You small know, habits. Small, mostly all average. And there would be about 50, 60 mile, uh, 60 acres, of pay, something like that. Yeah. And was it hard work looking back then? Sorry? Was, was it hard work for them farmers in them days trying to make a living and at trying that, to live? At that, at that stage, a, a farmer hadn't much money. Uh, yeah. It, it was a tough life. Yeah. It was, it was um, <clears throat> most of the farmers about the community as such, they, they lived on a few pigs, a few pigs. Uh, uh, some sheep and some hens and stuff like that about the place Aye. and uh, one or two milking cows yeah, for their own use and yeah. things, all that. And, it was just, and what, like I suppose, uh, the likes of uh, people, were they just rearing the pigs and, and cows for their own benefit to eat at home or was was that, it always about selling or? No, there were, there were, there were any, 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 any young stock, they always sold, yeah. all the young stock, they sold the young stock. Yes, yeah. You know, on a, there was a fair day in Dripperstown every every first Friday each month. Fridays, uh, and on the fair hill as we know it, as we knew then, yes, uh, still there, but yeah. a different shape. But yeah. the, it was um, the cattle and all were, were her herds round, herded in the in the in, in the fair hill, and people were buying and selling, and across the, along the along the end of the, on the roadside was a horse and cart. Or not the horse and cart, but just the cart with the pigs in them. There you go. Uh, there. And, and there was a, a few sheep pens about as well. Yeah, and 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 so would it, the streets have been full of, you know, just full of the cattle and full of the pigs. Right, uh, just, uh, there was no there was no parking tickets or anything. There was no, no order. Uh, no. There was no parking meters no, in. No, no, no. <laughs> park, we, or just no. get your cart and park it. That's and, right. And what was the culture like then? You know, uh, uh, farmers meeting each other and would they went for a wee drink after? Would they have been bantering in the bars to sell or was it just on... on Most the, of them was done, most of them done uh, the barter around in the streets or somebody would say, well, say, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll, split, we'll, we'll split that and we'll split this and 
Shop, tap hands and what have you. Uh, gentlemen's agreements. Gentlemen, they'll... Ah, uh, the old way. Yes. When the hand was struck and, like that and, there and, uh, and right. shocked. That's, that's, yeah. That was a deal. Yes. A, 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 a man's word was his promise. Well, was everything. It was everything. Yeah, yeah that's real interesting. Yeah. And, and considering the word... There's no such thing as paperwork the then. Contracts. It was all done by, by hand, handshake. Yeah. And that's that's done, you know. Yeah, honesty. Yes. It was about honesty. Yes. Yeah, and, and did you find that um, back in them days, as hard as it was, Morris, that there was a great spirit about this community and, and honesty, or was it there? And More, po- more, it was, more it was, well, it's not saying more, but people were ge- genuine people. They were, they were, everybody knew everybody. Yeah. And then there was, there was no such thing as, can I trust that man or this, that, and other? They all knew each other, who yeah, they were. Yeah. All right, they made different problems, but yeah. they always, there was never any big problems. Yeah, because it could have been solved. So it could be solved, that's yeah, right. that's very interesting. And so, well, we'll take you then, you were saying earlier on to me uh, about, uh, you know, like your parents and where you lived. And uh, so you went to Black Hill Primary School? I went to Black Hill Primary School, yes, right. And so... I would imagine back in them days, it was a tough to go to school in general to be taught. Was it? Was the teachers? They were. In those days, people sent their sent their school according to the religion. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the Catholic school or the Protestant school or yeah. this, that, and the other, and, was, and uh, you know, it hasn't changed very much in, yeah. in different ways. But uh, yeah, even the colleges. Yeah. If you're leading on for the colleges, you had the college, uh, a Catholic college, or you had. The, have uh, I used the word the Protestant uh, college and things yeah. like that? But yeah. no, there are those, there was, there was those divides all across the yeah. the, the countryside. Just, yeah. not, just not necessarily Draperstown. Yeah, and and it's funny you say that because what we were just talking to before that was about how community the community is. yes, and yet you're in that community, you're safe. You're integrated, and yet when it comes to something like education, then that's had, correct. Uh, yeah, and it was, uh, probably wasn't a great thing. Integrated no. education, there is some now. Would you think that would have been a better way? Everybody just go to school because it's school rather than who you are, what you are, where you're from, and all uh, that. Uh, look, uh, the, 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 whether we like it or not, whether I'm saying it or not, you yeah. can contradict me. But there's still this uh, kind of an atmosphere of divide somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Based on based on religion. Yeah. And it's not just here, it's a world thing now. So it seems a world thing, yeah. after, should, yeah. yes. And it's something that I think if 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 your heart's in religion, then it's all about being it's all about love the, and it's all about And how you, your children are brought up and one thing or another. Yeah, and having manners. And, and, That's and, correct. And, and, and as you said earlier on, if someone needs a bit of help, give it to yeah. them. It doesn't have to be shouting about it, it can be silent, but See, it's important. Uh, well, outside, outside Macro felt. Was the, the the present day of who call it the hospital at the moment? Yes. But it's good known those days called the work the, the, the poor house, in those days. And what was that? To, to explain a bit about the poor house. And well, I don't know much about Aye. it, but I do know who was the manager of it. Aye. It was Hutchison from the Black Hill. It was the Hutchison family? The hospital is such. The buildings around it are more or less a similar, they're, they're more or less a similar, hasn't changed anything on design. Yeah. They haven't changed much, but they're many, much, some are much larger, you know, but there will be, there's always a, a kind of a village approach looking at it, you yeah. know. Yeah, uh, and uh, you felt that it should have been better looked at, better designed, yes. and maybe well, uh, more welcome. It's, it's all done more or less smaller units, you know. Yeah, the, yeah, and uh, I suppose, I didn't know that was uh, like before was like a, a workhouse, and it just shows you that it was just it, yes, it actually. I, I was done by a, I, I, it wasn't so much. It's called the poor house, but it was oh, run. I don't know who run how it was run on the community and generally yeah. speaking. And did but people it, live in it or or, or no? Or, or what? No, there were the people that had maybe had no place to live, place yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, and well, I suppose. Um, as bad as it was, it was summer to stay. Was, that's right. Uh, and and at the end of the day. Hopefully, and I'm sure not. Not there was ones on it. Maybe got opportunities to get out and 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 further enhance it themselves. Yeah, let's see. Like some people called the poor house and yeah. places like that. You yeah, know. Yeah, and I suppose it's just society at that time. Was there a um, lot of different tiers in in, in the early no, days? No, 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 no different. No, it's just different. Um, it was. Uh, I can't talk too much about it yeah. in detail, but it was on different tiers of of different different. 
uh, sicknesses or, or yeah. diseases or yeah. what have you. Yeah, and I suppose looking now that uh, what everybody has is. Um, the National Health Service and have all these services and doctors and 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 cures to a, a lot of diseases that well, back in your day yes. people died with. That's correct. And the, so were, what, there were few, the doctors were few and far between. Yeah. And there wasn't the same. There, was, there wasn't the same services. I uh, no. no, no, <laughs> you're no, not no, ringing up. No, 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 no. So how did it work then for people out there maybe listening to Mars? How did you get approach a doctor in them days? And did he have to know everything? You know, or a wee bit of it, or did he use? Old, I suppose you'd say, was there old remedies or old remedies from the early days when you were growing up that your parents might have used? You know, for burns or for certain things or sprains or was there? People used they used a table a lot of from their just handed down remedies, hand handed down. Uh, cures and country cures and things like that. Yeah, you know? yeah. And and did the, the doctors themselves would they have been? Well, used? I couldn't answer that. Now, uh, the truth was, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and so uh, them old cures. Can you remember any of them? You know, for for just for bygone to, sake and what do you call the cow? The cow worm. Or, ring worm. No, no, sorry. Ring worm. Is ring worm. Ring worm. Yeah, sorry. Yes. Yeah, things like that. Yeah. And uh, different people that had their own cure medical cures. Thinking handed down for all over the over the years, you over know, the cent, over the the families. Mm. Yes. And what about in them days? Was there any? You know the way they say that people are handed down like cures and that uh, you know that they're like I don't know. Some people say the seventh son of the seventh son has got gifts of you know like helping people that are sick. Or was there any at them days like healers? You know, like people that could touch people and you know. And there was cure, different cures, but I mean you've heard of one or two even now. From different people, but there there are less and less look what you call local local pure cures now. Yes, so mostly all depend on on medic medication. Medication and yeah. uh, uh, and there's someone like yourself who is living into his nineties, uh, who grew through an era that there wasn't tablets for everything or wasn't this and that and other given out. Uh, so, uh, for instance, if I went back in the old days I and someone, had, if, you had a, if you had a cough, I would could, your parents uh, give you honey or something like that? or Honey and, and treacle and uh, different, different... What would the cure. treacle have been for? It was for both for animal and human. <laughs> there you go. Yes. There you go. Uh, and the treacle scones. Sure. Isn't there a treacle scone? You know, like a soda scone. That's yeah, well, a, would, uh, yes, and... and uh, uh, scones, when you'd mention scones, used to be made an Indian meal. Yes, that's the one. Indians. And, so Indian, 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 Indian meal. So, sorry, it wasn't the trickle one. Mm -hmm. Aye, yes. Because uh, and, and and they were Indian. like the uh, yellowy orange, uh, yellowy orange sort of looking soda. The the Indian meal was made out of. Is that right? No, I'm not sure about that. Aye. But I knew about the, uh, I knew about the, with the trickle and one thing that was handed. It's handed down for different bowel problems and things. But the, and, some animals got it for different problems. And yeah, and and did you take it yourself or did you know people? I'm sure I did. Aye, yeah. I'm sure I did. Yeah, really. Well, well, you're here to tell the tale. I, I think yeah, definitely well, you did. Well, Everybody well, should be taking it well, out there. <laughs> well, took it. We used to be made before go to school or something in the morning. Oh, I took yeah, a wee. A, 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 spin, a spoonful of treacle or things like that. Aye, you, you're made to take it. Brilliant. And honey's good for you. And you can tell mm -hmm. by your skin you got honey over the years. You're yeah, useful. Yeah, honey, honey was another one. Yeah. But you know, when you're talking about diseases, I only can talk to you about personally my, my, my eldest sister who died. She was went she went along in the early days with my father to a, to a, 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 a wake. Yeah. A country usual. You know, yeah. Or, yeah. And the country in those days, the terms was, it was uh, called... Um, Oh, what was it called? Anyway, it was called uh, tuberculosis. Tuberculosis, yeah. My, my, my sister caught the disease. At that stage, there was no cure. That's in the early, in the, in the, in the early, early 40s. Yeah. And uh, my father built her a house built on a cart wheel in the garden. So that the, uh, this house could be turned according to the way the sun, the sun was shining, uh, at the daily on a daily basis. That's amazing. And uh, that was more or less for the open, you give fresh air. The whole idea was f to get plenty, of, plenty of fresh air and stuff like that. But there was no, 
And it was only in the late 40s with, with uh, tuberculosis. Tuberculosis uh, at, that the, 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 the cure appeared. Yeah. And that's yes. an example of how cures can yes. come in from the, the medical yeah. side, yeah. And, and, she, uh, and she died when she was about 24. Hmm. Was it about she was in bed, confined oh, during all the, over the last over the last ten years, and mostly in bed ah, that's all the tough. time. That's tough. And that, that would have been tough on you and all. Yes. That, was uh -huh. it, was, did you say she was your younger sister or my older, eldest sister? Eldest sister. And just on that, uh, do you, uh, for people out there, I suppose, had you other brothers and sisters, Morris? That if you want to nine of for nine of family, yeah. five girls and four boys. And uh, do they as are, are they all are they still living or is there, no no just, no no gone? no? There's only there's two, just two 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 of my sister sisters living. Yeah, and do they live local or one one in, in Canada? There you go. And another one in in Bel uh, sorry in in Draperstown here. Brilliant, yeah. And uh, so your sister in Canada did. She uh, emigrate or she emigrated. She yeah. went out there, and her, after finishing her, her secondary school education, she yeah. went out there. Well, she had a uh, she had a, a training, a, a medic medication, what have you. Yeah, and she was stayed out and married out there. Yeah, and been in, in Canada ever since. And and does she visit the at all time? Does she come home? Not not now. No, ah, talk yeah. to her. Talk to her on the phone. That's good. And just mm. on the. Uh, just saying about the phone there. Uh, your parents had a post office. I was a postmaster. Welcome to the postmaster. So in what, those days. what I wanted to talk about there was the world we live in now, Morris, okay, is all technology. It's all fast. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's all flying. So for people out there, I suppose, Back in your day as a postmaster, it was about sending uh, the telegrams. telegram and maybe a postcard. Is that right? Postcards, telegrams. And, that's and, correct. Uh, and did people write letters or writing was... mostly letters? And so going back to the, them days, and you know the telegrams and yes. how how they all went out. And, uh, your telegrams coming through and had to be delivered. And the years gone by, prior to me taking over the post office, I was taken over by. It was done by George Parkinson, which you heard me talking about. Yes. As a, as a pharmacist, it's the same thing, but he ran the post office. And he and was the, one of the, the early pharmacists in Dripperstown. Yes, yes. There he is. He would, you'd see him out the, sometimes when he was, whenever a telegram come in from people, he would he would go and deliver the telegrams by, by bicycle. <laughs> Uh, there was there was no cars George, then. George George Parkinson, yeah. There you go. And uh, so the likes of uh, the changes now for yourself being in your nineties, where everything's email and computer and all that there. So if we went back then to sort of when uh, you were going to school, uh, uh, you were saying that you went to the Rini for a few years. Yeah. And uh, so what was school like like, like back then? And well, we usually usually got the bus uh, on the bus in High Street, Jefferson, every morning about nine o'clock. Yeah. And, and the local, I'm talking about the local area. And we went to the Rennie School or we went to the technical school in Mockerfeld at the same time. And that's a different... It was technical college now. Technical college, yes. yes. Places like that. Yeah, and uh, what were the, the learning then? What was the kind of stuff the teachers were teaching then? Was it was it all about sort of you know learning? No, they started off as, and... started off as English or for languages yeah. or, or different things, you know. And but that was the rainy school. That, yeah, they, they were all they were all um, uh, the uh, what do you call them? Anyway, the other school is a technical school. Yes, for, for young fellows learning trades and stuff. Yes. In, in those days. Yeah. And the, I suppose that would have been important then. I suppose right? oh, it was very know, important uh, then. With yes. everything coming back, uh, the you know, I suppose, after the war and everything being yes. built and all that there. Mm -hmm. And so the likes of the uh, yourself then, when you were at the Rini, you were chatting earlier on that you sort of stayed a wee while and you felt this school, yeah, sort of not for me. And and, right. and then you went on your it was it that you were saying an RAF apprenticeship? Is that right? That's right. Uh, so how did that work? And what way did that come about for you? You were I just that I I hated the school. Uh, <laughs> number one, <laughs> number two is what to do with myself. Aye. Uh, and I saw this. I was interested in flying. Yes. Just uh, like any young fellow. Yeah. And 
Look, there's a scheme, an RAF scheme run by the RAF uh, government. With, with yeah. was, you had to sign on for ten years. You had to sign on for ten years, but after, after you, you they would uh, you'd only be allowed in and and that apprenticeship scheme. Well, you're about maybe about four, 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 fourteen or fifteen t till you're about seventeen years of age. Yeah, and then you had to you had to sign on after that. For another ten years, to take it uh, to get the full they, the, the, that training was like a boarding school. Yeah, they, they, they give you, they taught you a trade, they taught you a trade, and they, they taught you, well, you name it, like a boarding school, how to look after yourself. Yeah, taught you discipline, the, the, the discipline and, and 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 manners and and yeah. look, and looking after yourself, you know things like that. Yeah, yeah, and and so. For for a normal day, um, um, at a training uh, college like that, what would it look like? What time did you get up in the morning? And, Six o'clock in the morning. And what was the first thing? Did you have to look smart? And you had to go and get yourself washed and shaved, straightened yeah. out, and um, you had to be on what you call outside the your what you call your your dormitory by eight o'clock in the morning. Was you have have already had had your breakfast at that stage? Yeah. And you you were roll call every morning. Yeah, and uh, and then you, one half of the week was taken up in school, and the other half was at workshops. You yeah. learned a trade. Yeah, and what kind of what what did they what kind of work stuff did you do at the the workshop? Well, in my case, in my case, I pl I plumped for I was offered a trade for engines. I went yeah. for the RAF engines. Yeah. Well, well, not RAF. They were engines, uh, airplane, air, yeah. airplane engines. Yeah, and so I suppose and. When you're looking, when we're looking back at that, uh, was that in the 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 fifties or or or? That was in the late fifties. Fifties, right at the beginning. You may say from fifty to sixty through. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, and how did uh, like for yourself then? Did you uh, did uh, or when you look back? I suppose that time maybe it was the forties. Was it? Would it have been the forties? Yeah, well, it might have been the forties when you were doing that there because no, was no, it no, before no, it the war. In, uh, or? I joined it. I joined it in nineteen forty nine. There we go, and uh, so for you then being interested in engines and 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 uh, all that there, uh, did you get flying? Uh, no, uh, no plane? it wasn't did nothing to do with flying. Yeah, yes, you could get flying if you're about somewhere. Got a chance of getting a. A flight on a, on a plane, but it'd only be pleasure. But Aye. you weren't you weren't uh, after you, after the print, after you finish your, after what you call your finish your your schooling, they, you're allowed you're sent out to the 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 the, the, the basic RAF uh, um, RAF uh, camps and stuff camps yeah. different places yeah and you could you had an option then of of uh, they had an option of taking up flying. They would yeah. they would took you on as well as with the trade that you had. They would also t teach you how to fly. Yeah, and did you learn then how to fly? No, 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 no. Was it later life then? You it was later life. Ah. Whenever I was playing around with Paddy Heron. Yeah, <laughs> another man that loved his planes. That's right. Well, Paddy was uh, uh, Paddy was interested in flying. And it was private we play and I had one we between us. We managed to fly, uh, it was a bit of help from. A man from Dunamana, he taught us how to fly and things. Got her. I got my drive. I got my flying license. Paddy had his flying license as well. We could fly in different places, but limited, you're limited to control. Uh, uh, you're flying what you call below the cloud all the time or above the cloud. Yes. Or you, you have the options. Yeah. And uh, but so it must have been great. Training, it huh? must have been great locking down on all the areas. Yes, you need all the man maneuvers. Yeah, yeah. So, but it's interesting it's for for a bit of fun as well. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. That's brilliant. See, so yourself, you were a married man. Yes. Yes, and uh, so your wife was from Newton. Newton Stewart. Newton Stewart, which is way up the country uh, outside Trone. Yeah, and uh, so what I can uh, from people talking to me about the old days. Um, to go out and find a future wife and get a court, you had to go on a bicycle. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> there was no curtain without the bicycle. And uh, so, and them days, it just, it just fascinates me because uh, I've always told a story one time uh, about my dad and he said he got, he got a bit tight and he had a lady on the side of the bike and he had a bump and <laughs> the lady and my dad landed on the edge. I went, <laughs> so, I went one weekend. 
one let's say one weekend a, a daily basis when say at the weekend yeah with another uh, just a school friend a fella his father was a head ma- forester in, in, in Derry Noid here F- Fotheringham was the name Fotheringham was that it? Fotheringham ah uh, yeah and his son was around about my own age and stuff and in what age were you then? Were you in the twenties or? I was just about the twenty, twenty-one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and we, we got off one day here on the bicycle one weekend. No, no, all on the one day. Flew, uh, drove or fl- fl- cycled to uh, Plumbridge, on to Dunmanor, and we met some girls there, and that we had, had arranged to meet and things like that. And romance started. Hey, it yes. was the first form of romance. Well, my first romance was with my wife, and I met her down in Portrush at the at the at the sports what do you call it the sports the the, the auto cars and ah uh, what do you call that place there? Ah, uh, Barry's. Oh, Barry's. Ah, uh, uh, Barry's. That's yeah, where, that's yeah. Did you go on those bumper cars? And what was yeah, it? Or the wee the wee round the wee bumpers cars. Ah, uh, right. yeah, brilliant. And uh, so, and what uh, age did you get married then? You know, if you can. Don't time it to it, but it was 23 or 24. Aye, uh, 24 or 23. And then you moved, because uh, I always, from me, sure. remembered you living out no, the Tubmore Road, or did I did, but, uh, but that was before I got married. And then I'm down, and then at that stage, I was more concerned. I, I left her off, I left RAF for the simple reason I had to sign on for whenever I finished my training for the, for the, for the, finished the training. Uh, you moved on to the, the the main camps, yeah. But I didn't want to go because I could see that the chances of promotion were not all that bright. Because unless you had a relationship, some relation in the and the and the and the RAF and places like that, it was hard to claim got, the they got, they got they got they got must have, in my opinion, they got they got priority. You know, uh, even though they may be not the person for the yes. job. Yeah. So you were just saying that, uh, and the RAF. You didn't find there was opportunities to get a career ladder. Yes, and uh, so uh, yeah, you had to sort of a family family background, you know. Yeah, uh, to some degree. Yeah, and that would be generational people That's that right. would have been in the area. But anyway, I bought myself out and come home. How did that work? And you mean bought yourself out, or did you have to buy? Like, I had to pay money. Yes, That's, That's because strange. because I had they'd give me a training during for my early days in the training. Right uh, through, like like yeah, a, like yeah. a school and what have you. Yeah, they were hoping that you would stay on. I hope, no, I'm not hoping. Yeah, yeah, hoping yes, yeah. but you ha- to stay on, you had to sign for a, a ten year contract. Yeah, yeah. After you finished your tra- your your school training. Yeah, and so then you left. Uh, you left there, and uh, at what stage did you start thinking about starting your own business <laughs> and such? <laughs> In the, in, the, in the late 50s, 50, 50, 50, I, I got out and out of the raft in three, 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 or two, three to four years. Yeah. And after that, I came home here and didn't know what I was going to do. And, and that, in those days, in those days, to, to trade in potatoes as a merchant, you had to have a, 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 a license, a government license. Yes. What they call trading, merchant license. Yes. And my, my brother had one, Bertie had one, but he got it, it was given to him by an uncle. And anyway, it was, he was more, I was more interested in the potato side. And I, I, I started from then with one way or another buying and trading, representing some of the larger firms in Belfast yes. until I could see. The, but what they were doing, I could, I, I reckoned I could do the same. You noticed the opportunity. So, yeah, and, and uh, I, I, I took it in one way or another. Yes, and go, like, suppose um, for you being a, a, a countryman, based as a countryman, um, you know, what the, sure. what the city, uh, the guys different, you were saying, different. are they, they different? Look, they look they down on you on your nose. Yeah. They look down you, you look down at you. Yeah, you know what does he know? What does uh, he know? Yeah, things like that. Ah, uh, well, well, the only thing they, that they, was, you knew plenty, but one thing they didn't have was land. They were living in a city. Yes. you knew about the land and then, what it took. I can tell you. I can tell you now. 
I got my, I was we would say, I got my rag, I got the rag out, I got the rag out. And I said, I, what they can do, I can do uh, just as good. Uh, and, and I did that. And better. And uh, so how did that all look, you know, um, with being a, a, a potato merchant for, I suppose, uh, for anybody listening, you know, did you collect all the potatoes from all around or did you, had you so much land that you had a control no, to get the, the potatoes to you? They, or? They, well, but, but the, we do, the, the potato trade was started just to really, after the war and all, Yes, it started to develop. Yeah, and uh, shall we say the trade developed with it, and I developed with that because you were there at the start. I just happened to be. Ah, uh, that's really interesting. And and, uh, uh, and uh, took took advantage of the situation, and the community was good to me, and I was well. I would say I did what they were looking for: somebody to represent them in different ways. Yeah, and you... buying and selling and. What yeah, have you. And that's a, a powerful trait to have. You were a, a, a forward-thinking businessman at that time, you know, and what's you that, created that, employment. Uh, just on that uh, behalf of employment, so people know out there the scale, because I know the scale of your yard. I just know one of this Taylor's yard that's now workspace uh, and around there and all the business. that it's never been any other way but business in there. And can when you see, we bought the potatoes. We, we bought the potatoes of the farmers and and supplied them with 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 the bags and the 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 the, 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 the dressed out their potatoes into different bags hundreds at a time yes and uh, they were loaded those potatoes the government had done in the earlier days of the war early days of the uh, of of the or the late, late not not the early days but the later years of the war every, everything was done by by license yes and uh, uh, the potatoes were the potatoes we were handling were under under license. We were allowed to sell them to the government or load them for the government, and they loaded them. And Draperstown, we loaded them down the railway down the station yard. Yes, down the, into railway wagons. The railway will come into Draperstown. Brilliant. Do you want to talk a bit about the railway there, just because I always hear about it, but I never uh, yeah. heard a story well, that it was actually working. Uh, the, the railway was going in those days. It was the road. If you if they asked you, but when the rail the railway finished in Draperstown, it never went any farther. <laughs> like the buses. That's right. <laughs> you see, it went right there. And every morning, every morning, the train come in. The, the Englishes had a representative. Was Paddy? Was not? Was Barney Gormley and Jim McCraner was another one for another firm in Belfast. They were their bread come in on the on on the from the bakeries on the train too and. Mm. People got their, their, they come there with their vans or their horses and carts and off they went delivering around the countryside. Oh, brilliant. And so you, when you were loading the potatoes, um, we were loading, and then, and we, then the, you the just... wagons come in, they would come in with wagons of coal and, yeah. and feeding stuff. Yeah. And then, then when those wagons were emptied, we filled, we filled them with potatoes. There you go. So everything was used yes, that's twice because right. uh -huh. it was hard to get everything there. That's right. And uh, so, and then with the likes of, uh, Yourself, you then started uh, trading potatoes internationally all around the world, isn't that well, right? Different that places. Was that was in the early days. Yeah, it was you. You got your you got your early training just by representing this or representing that one and different. Then you could see what had to be done, what hadn't to be done, and yeah. And um, as you talk about the, the the boys from Belfast would come down. You know, oh, what does he know about potatoes? Yeah. And things like that. But yeah. Well, the countryman proved them wrong. He proved them wrong. Yeah. Well, at least that would, generally speaking, quite a number of quite a number of us proved them wrong. Yeah, that's good. And and so, can you remember uh, employing who was employed with the in the early days around the town? Can you who remember was employed what by you by yourself? You know, at the pretty. Can oh. you remember any of the names from the people that worked do, for they're you? They're all dead. Aye, but even their their kin might be living now. And the few. McWiggins, the Kellys. The Midlades. Oh, quite a number of names different. Then yeah. you'd, you'd, uh, boys coming in here and there in different parts, you know. Yeah. Uh, some of the, uh, the, uh, the area, the area we're working on was not just, it wasn't just the, the local area. It was a more a wider area. A network of places. Yes, and you, uh, and you bought the potatoes. And um, well, you had competition to meet at the same time too. Yes, and you had to 
give a, at least a good representative, you know. As n everything went all right. Yeah. But you some, were good at it. Sorry? You were good at selling potatoes well, and working it. At, at that stage, the, after when the war, when the, when the war when the run out when, when, in, the, in the late 50s, the license was, the license, that license for the government was, was disappeared was done away with and you're free to trade everywhere, wherever you want. Yes. And so did that open up the world? It opened up, up the world, yes. Aye. Uh, and, uh, and then the trade, the potato trade developed up to, into two, 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 into two categories, two categories. One was for what they call eating potatoes. Yes. And the other was for seed potatoes. Seeds. And so, um, is that how uh, that you know that you hear about uh, the seeds? Uh, would they have been sent to places like Spain and and you know the way sometimes the spuds were going out the, and they're coming the, back the, with the, it? The countries, and uh, as times went on, these countries come out looking for healthy potatoes. Yes, and the government they they made a great they they, they did a lot of uh, spade work on the on on the production of seed potatoes. Yes, health wise, otherwise. Yeah, and all according according uh, the, the quality had to be all all had to meet meet, meet certain standards all yes. the way. Yeah, but um, well, then when the countries come on for looking for potatoes, then you you the countries you the countries themselves and the other countries in Europe were were looking for. They were looking for. Uh, they were supplying prepared the same same commodity, but um, you, you had to compete all the time, money yeah. wise, for yeah. shipping and you did all the shipping arrangements and all the range. Yeah, and you did all that to do yourself. Uh, at, well, eventually, you... was hard work and hard. I'd, 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 thank goodness for the local community. I, I got a lot of good help. A lot, a lot of the local uh, local community. That's I was good. able to get people to. To, to, to understand, to understand, it, work yeah. on, yeah, and um, at me, at created, at you created more, um, created employment in the area, yeah. Well, I, then, well, I'm then sure the I created a lot of employment, and in the process, I also broke into growing potatoes, seed potatoes, yes, and we grew anything up to 150 to 200 acres a year, yes, and that that created all employment. And uh, tied in with your merchanting side. Yes, and uh, so that way, and that and then, that, that was a, I suppose, a forward thinking. Sorry, thing. it was very forward thinking of you to do well, that. Well, it was. You seen it? Trial and error. Yeah, it wasn't always perfect, but trial yeah. and error. Yeah, but um, especially at that time, you were, you we, were we, we, um, coming out after the war, Mars. It yeah, was probably right, an, an important but food. Then the, 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 those three potatoes were were loaded around the ships coming into into Derry. And into Belfast and into Coleraine and Newry. There you go. And we, they were loaded then at the different sizes of boats, and and to. And they would have just spread out then wherever they wanted. Well, you, well, you was wherever your your market was. Instead of your market wasn't it wasn't just down the road. Your market was in different countries then. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and did you have to visit them countries? Sorry. Or did you have to visit them countries or, or? Well, without without boasting in any shape or form. I visited every one of them. Uh, do you want to mention some of them there? That's really good. Sorry. Do you want to mention some of the countries? And well, you start. If I just start off and it comes up at the top of my tongue. Yeah. Um, by the way, just before you do that, you're 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 competing also with with uh, people across the border here. Yeah. Uh, they're doing the same type of business. Yes. You had to compete with them too. Yeah. But. Uh, my main, my main. I only can tell you my main countries were, were Spain, Portugal, these, all these countries I'm talking about. Yeah. I, I've, I did, I did, I did all the selling myself. Was was I had was all I want to say all myself was I appointed agents in those countries. Brilliant. And to Portugal, Spain, and Portugal, and into the into the Canary Islands, and to Morocco. Um, into Egypt, into Algiers, um, into Cyprus, into Lebanon, Lebanon, into into Beirut. I've, I've travelled every one of them into Syria. I've to, and I've sold them. And all they were all contracts, and I 
I, I, I personally persevered and I did the, the, most of all those contracts with my agents, myself. Right. Now, how did you find the agents? You know, because you're in a country that speaks a different language. And well, you're uh, depending on the agent to, to, to speak the language. Uh, yeah. It help, helped you. Yeah. I mean, I couldn't speak I couldn't speak French, and Algiers was a big market for me. I, I, I hadn't... Uh, I, 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 was, I was French. I, I run away from it a long time. <laughs> it came back to haunt you. Well, yes. But anyway, <laughs> places like that. But... I, I, I can say now, I can say personally to you one thing. I was forced, I was forced into doing a terrible lot of the selling myself. Yeah. And the reason being is this. I brought a fellow in on the, uh, full of, uh, full of uh, his own beans himself. Yeah. And at the same time, then as soon as you, as soon as you sent him here and sent him there, different places, once you got to know a bit, it's all for himself. Yeah. So you had you had to forget about those people. Yeah. Their contracts you had to get involved in and do them yourself. Yeah, fair And never it kept me busy all the time. Yeah. And then I got I got the other staff to do the if I used the the, the spade work after that. Yeah. Well, you worked hard with them at then. Well, it kept me going. I mean, I I, I went I, my one of my, one or two of my bigger markets was into into Portugal. Boatloads from both from, from, from Coleraine, Derry, and Belfast. And then then and, and to other into and to uh, Lebanon was a big market in Beirut. Yeah, and, Beirut and was what, a, what was them countries? What were they like then? You know, <laughs> number one, they were like anybody else. There were different people yeah. in different languages, but they're interested in making money for themselves and <laughs> trying to improve themselves. Yeah. And they were they 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 had they made the contacts for the for the for the clients. Yes. That way. Yeah. And just and you had to, you had to be you had to be sure that that you there's no uh, you, 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 I mean, uh, a lot of trust. You needed a lot yeah, of trust, tr didn't you? Trust. That's true. and they they had, you you had trust in them, but they had, you had to build up a trust yeah, for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because and, uh, you're going into a new uh, country. That's why. That's why I couldn't afford to pay somebody to send them out to, to do it because all they do is this, they make for, room the tree. For, for, room for themselves. Forgive uh, me, I'm not being uh, personal when I say no, that. No, 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 no. They were lying in their own pockets, as they're saying that, now. That's right. Yes, and uh, and, and what they actually should have been doing, you were good enough to give them the job, Mars. Yeah. They should have been respectful enough to go out and do that job, but they were learning, they thought they were, but th at the end of the day, yeah. I bet you them people didn't. Human, human nature. Agreed. Agreed. Can be well. Well, we can't name. Them. I did the same in my own ways, and the way I come up, you know. Uh, uh, but you were a buzz. You were you were on the business, and you had well, to trust people. I know, to, but it, it, I had to know. learn the hard way. Yeah, and uh, I'm sure that uh, on them travels, you had a couple of things that maybe. Oh, we had one or two, but uh, I'm not mentioning. No, 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 but no, but it's just for people out there because what you're actually talking about is. Um, you're actually given a business timeline of how it all began. And, yes. Uh, you, I could just say this, uh, Morris. If you were around today and it, let's just imagine it wasn't potatoes, you probably would have a business that's trading, they call it now, internationally. That's right. And so uh, all I could say on that behalf is well done, thinking it was the 1950s or, right. and you were able to get throughout the world after a time of the war where infrastructure wasn't there, isn't that right? Like Con countries there. there. Don't have, to, don't have to be man-made. And you were in countries that probably would have been rebuilding themselves. That's right. And uh, so how was that for people, I suppose, and their they're, mindset they're, then? Was there a business ethos? That people were, you, were people thinking after the war, do you know what? We need to go for it here. We need to build a game. We need to build a community. We need oh, to build you had, business. You had, you had, uh, you had, you had comp uh, competition all the way. Yeah. You had to meet competition. Yeah. Uh, I was sitting of a diversified... It's one of my it's one of my pet subjects. <laughs> I was shipping. I by the way, before I go moves after that, you're okay. I I bought. I finished up buying a lot of seed potatoes on the same as a merchant as a merchant in Scotland, and then finish up finish shipping potatoes for, to different different uh, countries that I was selling my potatoes to. 
I was sailing from Scotland. I from shipped him from Aberdeen and Dundee and Fraserburgh down the, down along the lines there, and uh, I had an agent there, but at the same time I knew all the people that that I bought in Scotland. I shipped them out in boats loads, earning up to five and six thousand tons per vessel. Jeez, that's a lot. Uh, we got them out of Scotland, and the two countries in particular was um, Morocco. Morocco was one of them, and the other one was um, into Algiers. Um, when it was in, and we shipped, I mean, in Scotland we shipped ending up to ending up to ten thousand tons per season into Algiers from Scotland. And what kind of price would for and going back to you can't you know oh, uh, it's not uh, uh, all, yeah. well, you had to meet the competition because the competition was from Holland and Belgium uh, and, and France. And so, say for instance, for back in them days, Mars, uh, what kind of you know would you been saying right? I can get 20% profit here, or 10% if I do this, or what kind no, of level yeah, did you have to always look yeah, at? You're controlled, you see, you're, you're, one of the big problems then was that was the shipping costs. Yes, you had to, you build had that to, into your costs. You, you had to, you, you, well, you you got your prices of the, delivered the docks in Belfast or Derry or somewhere like that, yeah. or or in Scotland, but then you have to, you have your shipping costs, your loading charges, and you have, you have your fr sea freight charges and dis discharging costs, and insurance problem, paperwork, all that. Ah, no came. gentleman agreement. You couldn't do any of that. Yeah, there. Very, no. well, very little agreement. Ah, it's all done. Uh, it's yeah. all done by what was the uh, book? Ink, ink and pen. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. And and see the likes of uh, uh, like uh, for me, I never thought the people like the Moroccans that have been into potatoes, Morocco, uh, and all yeah. the different places Morocco, like and Morocco, Portugal. I sold a lot of potatoes yeah. into Morocco. Yeah, and I, 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 and, and small vessels from. from Five hundred to a thousand tons per vessel uh, into Morocco, uh, mostly and in, to uh, uh, mostly mostly all seed potatoes. Yeah, and but they were Morocco, Morocco, but they, they, were, Ryan, they, they were using those seed potatoes for, for reproduction for their own requirements at home. Yeah, so the so in other words, yeah. uh, back in them. So the the thing about seed potatoes, uh, I suppose the important thing to say is. Uh, they were feeding load. They were it was feeding loads of families, you know. Yeah, the, sure, it was yeah. but families. Uh, yeah, uh, and they had, they had, they were, no, they were, uh, they were all doing their own farming too. You see. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, a different uh, the potatoes just wasn't one variety. It was two or three variety, different yes, varieties. Yes, yes, yes. And that and did you see a difference in like all them countries you mentioned? Was there different farming methods? Uh, in them countries or had a lot of them got like you know the way you see now like wine uh, you know vineyards and was that always in these no, countries no no, no. no you or was just, that a new you, thing you sold them into you sold them X, X, what you call X, X, X key X ducks yes you sold them that's how they were sold I mean, after that, I want nothing more to do with them. Aye, they're gone. They were gone. <laughs> and you'd made your money and the job well, was done. Well, and, and lost it. <laughs> ah, well, I mean, but you're, it's not business that you uh -huh. have to. And so where... Well, sorry. Sorry. So where when you were saying there about uh, all the different costs that were needed to build up to send a, a potato away, um, was that not quite hard in all the different currencies that you'd been dealing with? Mostly done in, it was mostly done in dollars and sterling. There you go. There you Mostly go. done in dollars and sterling. Yeah, and the uh, biggest contract that I ever bought, I ever handled, was uh, uh, and uh, these are facts. These are facts. Now, in my later, I mean later years, I I did uh, as I said to you, I did a considerable amount of seed potatoes from Scotland into Algiers. And I was in Algiers one day. That's what I was saying. I was, I was, it was me by myself. Yeah. An, an, an agent introduced me to the because in Algiers most of the trading was done by not by individuals it was done by um, society or, uh, groups you know yes, groups yeah uh, cooperative sort of yeah yes, cooperatives yeah thing. yeah, yeah. Um, and this they asked me this day I was in Algiers and I nearly fell fell, fell off the chair but they said we're, we're interested in the quantity of table potatoes now. This is they for they want to buy them for for this is one of the the government organizations. Yes. And the many tons many tons that they asked me to say, could I supply or could I deliver? I was interested. 
I couldn't guess. No, I know you couldn't. A thousand. No, I couldn't guess it myself <laughs> Two at the thousand. time. <laughs> and um, you're sitting down, and I'm sitting down, and I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> 60,000 tonnes. One contract. Wow. Because the potato boxes used to be a ton. No, oh, these were all these were all going in boxes and bags. Yeah, and these were golden fifty kilo bags. Wow! But they were sold. And they said to me, "Was I interested?" But, but truthfully, I can say to you, I nearly fell off the chair. <laughs> you think you heard that? I said, I said, because but the the competition was coming in from Belgium and Holland. Yeah. And Denmark. France was. It was a, a smaller competition. I said, yes, I'm interested. To make a long story short, I had a connection, Not never before, I had a connection with a, a very big Canadian company who you know, <laughs> McCain's. There you go. Yeah, you McCain's yeah, chips. Yeah, yeah. Well, the Scotchman was the manager of, it, of oh, this particular protection. And just by accident, I happened to him. I said, interested. And, and can you deliver them? I said, if the price is right, we can deliver it. To make the story short, I got on to, and it was in those days, no, I'm saying in those days, the quickest way, because I wasn't very much interested in computers. I did the, I did the calls on the mobile telephone. And um, I phoned them, and I told them how much they didn't. They didn't back an island. They said yes, we'll be interested to to make. I negotiated to finish up a price with the with the Algerians for the sixty thousand tons, and 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 I also had to agree a price with the Canadians for the selling of the supply them, and they sold them, and. Without that sixty thousand tons was shoved to 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 bypass the dollar trouble, the big trouble with the, with the dollar at the time. We bypassed the dollar. The the tron, tron, contract was made between the, the Canadians and my company here in Northern Ireland, and I in turn then sold them sold the potatoes from to, from 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 the Canada. Although Canada. they were Canadian potatoes. Yeah. They were sold as Your consumption potatoes, potatoes yeah. as Irish potatoes <laughs> to, to buy, bypass the paperwork. Brilliant. <laughs> uh, we got that through 60,000 tons. And those 60,000 tons was, was shipped to eventually, bypassing the, the lot of was shipped. I, I, I bought them from and delivered and. <coughs> So not uh, uh, and then uh, Prince Edward Island in, in Canada they were shipped they were loaded in Prince Edward Island in, in Canada I bought them from the from the Canadian companies and they were shipped from from Canada to Algiers in f five thousand ton vessels Jeez. <coughs> five thousand ton ships and and they went into different ports, and eventually went went to different ports into Algiers. But um, uh, you laugh when I say again that all that tonnage, big tonnage, was shipped and delivered, and shipped in vessels, refrigerated vessels. From what country? <laughs> Canada. Russia. Russia. Russia supplied the shipping vessels. <coughs> they're on, it's all done under contract. But what way did and that there, work? There were about 5,000 tons each, 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 each ship. Had they the big haulers? They refrigerated. For, they, yeah. they, they, used, they used them used them also in Canada or in, 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 in uh, Russia. They used them for, for the fishing. And was it, when the fishing the, vessel? When did the, the, the refrigerator? Refrigerate refrigerate, when did that come in? When did that come in then? The Sorry? Lecture, when did that come in? The refrigerated vessels? Oh, look, I don't know. I, 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 yeah. I, I had to finish up. I made the, my deal on the basis that Canada had to do the paperwork, <laughs> but I, I avoided the paperwork. But Canada had to. They had to do it. But 
they did the contract, and my pr price was was a, a delivered price in Algiers. So you had built on the Russian boats. You Sorry, know, they, you, no, you, the you, Russians they had their own, their own vessels. They they had, uh, but you had, you had built that all into your costs. Yes, that's right. That had to be all into the costs all the way through. Like that's uh, well, it's bound to be a pretty hard thing. You were dealing with different uh, territories, different countries. So uh, the, I, I, the, the, I beat I beat I beat them. Fair play. You know. I, I beat I beat I I was the lowest lowest in the price. That's brilliant. And uh, so how did uh, so basically um, the potatoes came from Canada. It comes from it comes from the west coast of Canada. And you stamped them with your brand. Yes. Brilliant. <laughs> uh, well, it was all done by agreement. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. They knew yeah. they knew what we had had to do. We had to we had a lot of paperwork to finish. Yeah, yeah. To complete to comply. Yeah, and uh, so that. For for someone that uh, left uh, left the Rini after three years, went to the RAF Training Academy. You just pulled off probably what's seen that's, nowadays as, as an that, international. That game. was my biggest contract ever in my life. Well, it's amazing because you had to deal with so much different things to and do I, it. I was all I was all organised eventually from Draperstown around the world, around the world. Wow, and uh, I mean that that contract I'm talking to you about was uh, I was handled in, in Draperstown by my own staff. Amazing, which people should know you were over in the, the railway I yard. In, I was in I was in I visited Canada when we were getting the paperwork and all signed up. I didn't get the paperwork signed up, but signed the contracts. And yes, all. yeah, and, and got the business. Everything went smoothly. Brilliant, brilliant. Well, listening to that story. I'm, I'm well, sure. That's more or less the finish. My stories. No, no, that's uh, that's that's an amazing story. But listen to that there. Uh, by being an international uh, trader uh, and and a merchant and potatoes, was it around that time that you got your OBE for business, or what was that? Well, there's a lot of. All I'm saying is. This. In Northern Ireland, because I go, I become I become one of the larger merchant merchants. Yes, yes. And I become I become then I was made chairman of the Merchants Association. Yes. And um, some people like to hear me getting the OBE, and other people <laughs> <laughs> frowned on it. You know, <laughs> but no matter. No, but it, for you, it uh, I suppose and it was a it's I an did, achievement I, in I, itself. I I don't know. Personally, uh, truthfully, I had to. I had to be introduced to, uh, or, or recommended for that post. Yes, I got it. I don't really know. I've got an idea, but I, I wouldn't like to mention. It, but it was mentioned. I was mentioned. My name was put forward, and I got it. Yeah, the and, OBA. The, and you went to Buckingham Palace. Yeah, I went to Buckingham Palace. Yeah, and uh, and was it the Queen presented you with it at that time? That's right. My wife will come with me too. Yeah, and because that just gives us a link. For uh, your wife, uh, who was from Newton Stewart, yes, yes, and uh, her father was a was a, uh, the main manager of the sawmills and the, and the ministry. Oh, I and the ministry, so um, uh, Reverend, uh, uh, was he? The ministry, uh, what anima or uh, not animals? Uh, forestry service. Forestry, yes. forestry service. That's right. Yeah. So and uh, and do so you uh, uh, your own family? You know how many of a family? I know, like uh, I would know uh, uh, Joe, your your son. Joe and the son, yes. Yeah. And and would you like to mention the rest? And and I, and I met uh, Margaret. Yes. Uh, who left you in? Uh, and uh, how many of a family had you got then? There was Joe and Margaret. How many? How many what? And your family? You know for that. Uh, oh, my family. Had, no, that you reared yourself. So you have Joe and Margaret. And is there any other sons and daughters? There's um, four daughters and one boy. There we go. And so, uh, who are uh, the, the Margaret? There's the Dorothy, Margaret, Linda, and Jane was, f was four girls. Yeah, and Joe was only boy. One boy. And uh, so, and uh, do they live locally, or did they any of them immigrate or anything or move away? My, my, um, no, my. As I say, my my sister went went to went, yeah, went to Canada, yeah, but only you. your own family. Like, yes, no. but my own family. No, they they didn't go. They didn't go away. Yeah, 
And uh, because you had built up an empire for them and didn't need to go away. Well, <laughs> they, had to, they had to look after themselves at the same yeah, time. And, uh, but uh, one, of a, one of them's a pharmacist. The other girl is Margaret. Yeah. She's a school teacher. There you go. And the other the third girl. Nurse? Books and arithmetic, accountants. Accountants. Yeah. Accountants they work, yeah. All ah, right. And uh, ah, well, and, uh, the other uh, girl was nurse. Nurse, yeah, yeah. And uh, so, and just looking at, you know, your your old house, used to, or your home house used to be, there's a dentist in there now, uh, Pauling, who married Joe, your yeah, son. That, that, that's, that's, that, we'll move to that side if you want me to. Yeah. The police barracks on that same line, line of high street houses. Yeah. Was also the police barracks was also blowing up. Yes. Anyway, the the police barracks. You know, that's all right. There's, after a bit of t time went on, and things c c calmed down. That site, that site, come and site, come on, on sale. Yes. And I, I I put in an offer and I bought it, and then eventually built rebuilt that building with the with the government help. A grant, yes, and I developed it, and now it's a now it's a dentist surgery. Yes, that's right. And it was, it was, um, me. Uh, all I'm saying is, it's a dentist surgery, and it was on my recommendation that you should. There's an opening in Draperstown, and I and well, it was, it was taken uh, taken up, not through me, but taken up. And yeah. Joe's Joe's wife took it up. Yes, and. Uh, it's a very successful. At least, at least successful business. Yeah, very successful. Well, more power to her. Shouldn't maybe say this. Oh, you're all right. Go box, ahead. But I say it anyway. A, a traveller on a Thursday afternoon, you see, usually with a half day in Derpestown. And this traveller, the stranger, maybe not so well familiar with, tells me, he wrapped Joe's front door, he wrapped it in him. Um, who answered the phone but Joe? Who answered the door but Joe? Joe was a wee bit gruff. I don't know whether you ever know. Uh, people say he was a bit grumpy. A wee that? bit grumpy. Well, <laughs> man, well enough. But um, the man, anyway, spoke to him. And uh, he said, whoever it was, said, can I speak to your mother? It happened to be Joe's wife. <laughs> oh, that, 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 the man never the man never even got open his mouth he, his, the door was closed <laughs> right 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 away <laughs> uh, Joe was oh, well, that, that, that's that's uh, that, that's not a made up story that's no, a true no, story no no I hear you I hear you then on down the line we had the shamels and the Reagans had their butcher yeah. shop and you spoke earlier on about the, the activities that went on in that there well, the Timonies, the Timonies were in the opposite, opposite side, side yeah. opposite side of yeah. that, from that. Yeah, and then the Shamels would have been. And the Shamels were then, and the Reagans, Reagans had bought the Shamels for some time, and they they developed it to, for. The, it was a bit of a, after the different things in the, there was a barber shop, Bobby Taylor, Bobby Taylor, a namesake, was, no 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 relation. Uh, he was a barber in the yeah. town there. Yeah, the, just in that area. That's right. And um, then you had the parochial, then you had the school on down the line. Yeah. And farther down you had, um, well, he comes to, um, had the garage then below that again. Um, McGeekins, no. Who? Was it McGeekins, no? McGeekins, yes. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Originally it wasn't McGeekins, a fellow, a man called Stuart. There you go. That lived, uh, Sammy Stuart lived on the other side of the road from, from that. There you go. And then... Jim McCrinner built himself a house in there at the bottom of the, at the bottom of the road. That's right, and he had a joinery. His son had a joinery place out the know. back of that. I for yes. a wee while, yeah. But anyway, that's the, that's that that's that road anyway. Uh, on, on up, you know, going up the town of Hell, you boils uh, had a big a lot of cows and they done a lot, they produced a lot of milk up there. That's right, yeah. Stuff, yeah, that's right. And you had the Hib Hall and and uh, up farther up the road there. Yeah. Have and see, see if we go down the street on the opposite side, yes. you know, like you uh, were talking about. I'm only just, I'm only yeah. giving it to you as I know it. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And can you, so going on up, going on up then, going on up then, going on up the lengths of Jim Joe Kelly's and Straw and yeah, on farther up. Ah, uh, 
And did you, uh, like, would you have travelled around the parish when you were younger or around I the did, different places? I did. I got to know them all. Ah, I knew, knew everyone. Used to, I used to, an a, a, agency, I bought grass seed. There you go. Here and there and got to know the people. Ah, would you have been... The same, in, the same in the countryside, you know. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and then some of them families are still here to this day, you know. And then Well, a tab, a lot of them's gone, you ah, know. Ah, yeah. Yeah, a lot of them's gone. Uh, and, uh, but, uh, is there kin still there? Or? I can say to you now, truthfully, the people were good and Dripperson were good to me. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's, that's good. That's all man. I can say, uh, truthfully, about them. That's good. And I think that's even one of the best ways to to maybe finish off that the people were well, good. People, people, people well, people were, were. I couldn't. I can. I can still. I can still walk down Dripperson Street and nobody would. I was in I was in the supermarket the other day, and he up in town, and uh, whatever my, my small grocery bill come to, but I put my hand in my pocket. I hadn't I had only a bit of bit of paper money in my pocket yes. at the time, and uh, up in the supermarket he said, "That'll be, that'll be you'll need another ten p." I could I was starting uh-huh. to put my pocket look at the ten p. A fellow was standing behind me who I didn't know even today. He says, here, here's a ten pound. Here's uh, ten, not a ten pound, uh, a ten, ten pound, a ten, a ten, ten pence P. piece yeah. to me. Yeah. Uh, that's the sort of people with drippers uh, and drippers. Uh, goodness. By uh, the way, the, the poultry man, <coughs> Joe Henry. Right. I want to talk about the poultry man because that's a deadly story. Joe, so, Joe Henry so, was right, the man. For people out there listening, at the diamond at Drippers Town. At the diamond, that's right, correct. At the diamond that's at Drippers Town that is now... I couldn't remember, well, I couldn't remember the name. I fair remember play. It now. No, that's brilliant. Joe, Joe Henry. Henry was a poultry farmer for people listening and, and Joe Henry and had his... A great, a great mathematician. He knew his numbers. And so for people out there, I suppose... Um, uh, at the Diamond, that is now where Tommy McCauley lives. Uh, at the Tommy Diamond, Tommy McCauley. Where, li- uh, where Tommy McCauley lived was where the house where Joe Henry lived. There you go. And then round the corner, as now where Leo Kelly was, it's McCauley's now. Yeah. And do you want to tell the people back then about Joe and his Turkey Empire and yeah, what happened? They, they had done, done a lot of. They did the um, turkeys in the fair and the, and the ordinary poultry, and he, every Saturday morning. Hail, rain, or snow. He was on. He was on the top from Dripperstown to Cookstown to, to market some of his stuff. Yeah, and, and in he fact, was... when I, in fact that the finish up, his hands were like that. We're driving the horses. The, the, the hands were locked because of the cold weather. No, uh, yeah, there, there, there was just no no relaxer. Uh, just like that. And it was hard times. There was Joe, Joe, just one story on Joe Joe Henry. I mean poultry. Uh, those days, of so many it was done on the uh, you, you you weighed them all by hook. Yeah, and Joe Henry was saying, so that's that's uh, so many pound weight or so many pound, bum 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 them so much pence, so much a pound. Yeah. Henry was that good at that math on mean, his own head, in his own head. The headmaster it was a the headmaster in the Rennie School was a math, mathematician. And he he didn't settle over the years till he had an interview with Joe Henry to see how the two of them got on and their mathematicians <laughs> to compete with each other. <laughs> there you go. And how did the turkey farmer do? Huh? Did he do good, Joe, against him? Joe and you and him. He, he couldn't. He couldn't. But had him. He couldn't. He couldn't. He couldn't beat Joe. I mean, he just was. Joe was brilliant at it. He was a natural accountant. Uh, sure. And uh, all 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 on up here. Yeah, and looking at things like that there, and uh, to, even for people to imagine that there was turkeys hanging all around the diamond, it's it's an no, amazing no, no, story no, to tell. No, no, and then that back in the backyard, and yeah, the back, and you were telling a wee story about uh, electricity earlier on. What oh, that was only that was part of Joe's backyard. Ah, I tell that wee story for the people. Yeah. And, and huh? You were tell the wee story. You were telling yeah. me about the wires and well, the, was, I mean, nearly yeah. becoming Superman out of it. There, you uh, know, where you get the wee mother. shock. Yeah. These things happen. Ah, so do you want to tell me that wee story for people to listen to you? Well, about the... Uh, uh, What's Joe? Was, um, it was um, Mickey Reagan's brother. Yeah. Uh, uh, Matt, Matt Reagan. Yes. Uh, Matt. He uh, ran the bar then. Was he? That, did he run no, the bar when, in Maharaj? he was doing, he was helping Joe with yeah. and some of the wire and Joe and, and Matt handed me this wire 
and at the end of a like an electric plug. Yeah. And blue and I didn't realize it was it was it was no bulb in it. But I put my finger in it and it set me across the yard. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, it turned you into Superman. <laughs> hey, it, turned, it turned you into who you are today, uh, a man of, of, of business, adventure, uh, driving planes. Okay, and, I know, and, but, that's, but well, you, we did that for a bit of fun, you know. Yeah, but um, looking at all them years, uh, uh, is it all right to say you had a good life and well, you enjoyed life? Well, there's ups and downs. Yeah, uh, there's a, it wasn't all sunshine. No, no, but life isn't. But but and and an overall, you know, for someone in their nineties. No, maybe for whatever you can use it, whatever whatever you tell me to go away. But uh, in the summer months, you know, with no swimmer pools or anything like that around Draperstown, and out out the out the money in the road out to the bridge. Yes, you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah. Uh, there's a, a farmyard. We were able to go down through that farmyard along the along the river of Moyola, up to up to the there's a deep hole up up along the, the river. The men's swimming pool, they called eh? it. I think they call it the men's swimming pool. Well, that... we went in then and we went in there, but we would go in there and you could really get in and jump in and you, and you couldn't swim or nothing. But we did it. There's a man I'll not mention no names. Oh, but, talk away. I know, the the name, I know the name well, uh, yeah. but anyway. <laughs> He wasn't, he was in, uh, I was, in many ways, I was a bit of a devil, in many ways, uh, just. Uh, but having the crack. This fella was in, and, and he couldn't swim, and once he was, and he, and he was very nearly over his depths. Yes. But I remember, when then, but I come in beside him, and behind him, and he pushed his head down onto the water, <laughs> and he come from spluttering, and he was very gonna, gonna kill me. For you need to see, you're trying to drain me. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, know, were you were trying to help him swim. Oh, come on, oh, for things like that, you know. Uh, but it was all banter and it was all, all banter. Fun. That's all fun. And, yeah. uh, and was that, uh, were them gatherings, would they happen much, them gatherings going out to the pool and sleep uh, uh, No, would, would they have much going out to the river and swimming together? And, no, 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 oh, uh, no. There's no such thing. Uh, you just jumped in. Well, you jumped, you had a pair of trunks on you, uh, uh, jumped in. Uh, yeah, it was good. And, so, and back in them days, what did you play? How did you play? And how did you enjoy, you know, what activities did you do outside of school? How did you have fun? Bit, bit of golf. Bit of golf. Oh, just for a bit of... Uh, yeah. Not not serious. Yeah. Just uh, maybe uh, got an odd, odd afternoon off and mostly Saturday. Yeah. It was good for the mind, all, yes. the, all the work that you were That's doing. That's right. Yeah. And can you remember uh, who you were playing? Who, who did you go out and play the golf with in them days? Can you remember anybody? Was there anybody local would have played the golf? Don't ask me for names, but I can right. pin punch them to you. Yeah. One was the headmaster, and uh, and um, uh, not uh, outside Portal Known. Uh, before you go into Portal Known from Mahara, uh, the headmaster has one was one of them. Clary High School. Would it be Clary High School? Jack Scott, the Mahara of Scots, Alexander Scots. And there was a, a Catholic clergyman also joined the, the party. And um, I'll tell you a story again. Was, was he praying for you all? So he could, was he praying that he could win all the time? The no, 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 no. <laughs> no it was like anybody else. He enjoyed the game. Yeah, and they made a foursome. Ah, uh, that's you know good. What I mean? made, made up a foursome. And what golf club would you want? At? Where would you? Well, Kelly Moon or Cookstown? No, or we went to mostly it's all mostly um, the, the Valley and Port Rush. Yes, or Port Stewart. Yes, or no Port Rush, the yes. Valley. Yes, but um, oh, I'm trying to think his name. The, the, the headmaster, I can't remember yeah. his name. But he was a very he was an individual. I was very anxious about winning all the time himself. Uh, Mike was his name. Hey? Mike, Mike. No, it wasn't Mike no. Ford. It wasn't Mike Ford. Mike Ford. Ford. No, 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 I knew Mike Ford. Uh, I knew Mike Ford's father-in-law. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, sorry, you were going but, on. Um, you were saying you were having a game. It was come to me anyway. But yeah. anyway, he's a big man, and uh, you know, he's always uh, oh, very, very uh, sports-like and all. Yeah, but yeah. but always anxious about being. Uh, been the top dog. Ah, uh, he wanted to win. Uh, yes, but um, and did you not uh, want to win? I'm sure no, you wanted to win too. What I wanted to tell you was, <laughs> these, uh, the uh, I will forget which father priest it was at the time, but him and Jack Scott. There was 
kind of housing that man. All he's always anxious about doing this, that, and the other, and how he could do things. And you know, they noticed that one thing about him. He pulled it out always, and 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 the golf bag. He always had a a big bottle of orange juice. <laughs> <laughs> no, not the clergyman now. No, no, sorry. You know, <laughs> but, but anyway, uh, they couldn't understand this. They stopped them now in the middle of a game and they take a slug of this. Yeah. What, what did they discover afterwards? <laughs> they had it laced, he had it laced with gin. <laughs> <laughs> so they couldn't understand it. And... and uh, the, the better he got the girls, the better the, the, the children's working. <laughs> uh, so he, the 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 wee the wee dram helped him play. That's right. Ah, good. And uh, so, did you you stop golf? Did you stop golf? And your when did you stop? Where you stopped? Oh, I had to stop. My eyesight troubled ah. me. My eyesight for the distance, I couldn't hit. The, ah. you couldn't see the ball going. Ah. you could have been striking it and hitting I'm somebody. Now, I'm now ninety two years of age. Amazing. And my big problem is my eyesight, my hearing, and my walking, my balance. Yeah, yeah. But I, my, those are my deficiencies now. Yeah, and have you any advice for people out there? Sorry? Have you any advice for people out there? How to live to your 90s? Because you're... You're, you've no. got a great mind, I should say that. Uh, you're you're very articulate with your words. Uh, is there no, any... but it's... Um... I'm not. I'm not trying to. I'm just telling you. I'm talking to you as a man to man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I've nothing. I just look. If you haven't your health, you have nothing. Yeah, yeah. That's the only advice I can tell you. Yeah, and you've always had good health. Well, I've tried to, you know. Yeah. And but not. I'm not. I'm not. A, I'm not a lover of tab tablets. Yes. I just. Um, I tell people less tablets you take, the better. Yeah, and uh, and. What would your breakfast be in the morning, then, Morris? Do you, are you are you a porridge man or or or, or? half the week would take porridge, another half would take a cereal. Yeah, and uh, so there's advice for people out there: porridge, cereal. What else? Drink plenty of water. Or oh no, I would I would always could take. I wouldn't be a water man completely, yeah. but it would take, I'm very fond of it. a good cup of hot tea. You know? Cup of hot tea, there. Yeah, cup of hot tea as well. So we've got we've got the the, the three ingredients. And were you a man? That ever took a drink or or anything in your life? You didn't. You never took a drink. You know, like alcohol. I'd be telling you a lie if I didn't. I, yes, I, I've, I've taken one. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But I don't. I'm not a drinker. Aye. So one drink no, for no, one people out there. No, no, porridge, no, one drink, and cornflakes. No, I don't smoke. <laughs> Aye, good man. And uh, what? And I suppose. And when you were growing up, everybody was smoking. And I did took an odd pull, but no, 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 no desire for. It. Wasn't for you. It wasn't for you, and yes. and 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 a fair play to you for all that pressure and the work. You know the work, Sorry. all the pressure of work you had over the years. You never turned to any. You just stuck away from alcohol, so, and stuck well, away from well, cigarettes. Just, uh, no interest in them. That's brilliant. So mm -hmm. the advice we have for people out there, Morris, is porridge three times a week, uh, cereal three times a week. Oh, I should say this too: sugar and the tea. You like sugar in your tea, and 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 a, 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 a good a good slice of toast. I love toast. So, yeah. I could I just say, I absolutely love toast, I Morris. Will. And I've, you've just made me so happy there. I've just seen my life just extending here yeah, in front I, of me a, a with good, toast. A nice, a nice slice of toast. You uh, know? Would you like brown bread or white? I, I I prefer the brown bread and real butter. And real butter. So real butter, people. And uh, none of this margarine type. No, 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 no. Ah, no. no it's, that's, that's just a drug again. Not, it's not a drug, ah, but it's... Pl it's plastic. Uh, ah, it's just... Uh, it's not good. So the advice we're giving people on this food, <laughs> or last week food section, <laughs> <laughs> is porridge, uh, uh, cereal, real milk, the blue milk, Blue, blue milk. Blue milk. Your door, yes. Yeah, blue I milk. I don't go for the green milk or anything at all. It's not. I, I joke with people about I'm a, I'm I'm a blue man and, and yeah. <laughs> Which, that's all right. No wrong with the blue man. And uh, so and uh, so there's three forms there's the green man, the blue man and the red man. Right? So, so my, 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 my eldest sister, my, I'll not say my eldest. Yeah, well my eldest sister is living now. She would nothing but the she would nothing, nothing but the green milk. Ah. Uh -huh. She would because of 
Well, I just that's that's your poison. You uh, you, you do it when you have it. I'll just want to take what I want myself. I uh, and, and and it's done you good. Yes, it's done you good. It's done me. And that's I brilliant. Me. And and what about the likes of dinners? You know, what kind of dinners do you like? Do you like? Do you, I know you're a pretty uh, potato merchant. Do you still eat potatoes, or are they like a <laughs> something still, that haunts you? I would like to take. I would like. To, I would like to have a dinner. I was potato, potatoes and what have you. Yeah. But usual, usual. Meat or or pork or something uh, like that, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and it, the, is it alright to say like the, the simple foods in life? S simple foods, you know. Yeah, and uh, portions small enough. Not 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 big, you know, not big feeds. No. Yeah, yeah, and that's good advice for people. Mm. And uh, for this five minute uh, interlude of food, it's been really good because we've got porridge, we've got uh, cereal, we've got spuds, and that's we've right. got uh, small portions. Real milk, the blue milk, sugar and the tea. That's it. Sugar and the tea. And uh, any other advice, Morris, you could give people out there for, for in life or food? And remember their neighbour. Yeah. Remember their neighbour. Yeah. Respect the neighbour. It's good to have a good neighbour. Yeah. And uh, that's an important thing to you. Yes. And community is important to you. Hey. Community and neighbour is important to you. My neighbour is Colm O'Neill. Yes. And Colm was not too well himself. Yeah, man. yeah. And beside that, the man that I used to go flying with was brother of Colm's father, Seamus. Father Seamus. That's yeah. right. A man who served in missionaries in Africa for years. That's right. Yeah. And he's back home and now. That's the way we all had a good many times with between Paddy and Seamus and another fellow called Jim McWigan. He's dead too. We had all the good fun, a bit of flying, you know, for, for our own our own fun. Yeah. And Father Seamus was a pilot too, he? Yes, that's Isn't right. Isn't that right? That's right. I yeah. didn't know that, Morris, oh, recently. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm very good at it too. There you go. And uh, and you mentioned, and there was Paddy Hearn, there was yourself. and uh, Jim McGuigan. Jim. Jim. One of the McGuigan family. Yeah, Jim lived in Macara. He was the yeah, first man. Right. Isn't that right? Jim, Jim's dead now. Yeah, that's right. That's right. He was a big GA man. That's right. He was. A, that's, right. that's right. And uh, where would you? Where did if you? I, if I ever needed a, a ticket for the match in Dublin, I got Jim would help me. <laughs> You'd VIP treatment. And uh, did you like going down to the matches? Sorry. Did you go down to the matches? No, no? I did not. Uh, it wasn't just. No, I did. No, I did not because look, I wasn't interested in football aye, in any shape or form. Aye, yeah. And what about rugby? Did you follow the rugby in later life? I played. I played what I call junior rugby. Not yeah. I, I, yes, I was interested in country country rugby. Yeah. You know, Fra Ireland or France or yes. Scotland or yeah, England. Or, yeah. Uh, countries like that. Yeah, you know. yeah, and the Six Nations is on at the moment right. as we speak. Six Nations. Yeah, and uh, and uh, well, Ireland has won their first few matches, so they could get the Grand Slam. Yeah, who knows? You know. Yeah, that's right. And uh, so, for I suppose what uh, I, would, I also would like to say is, you mentioned a very important thing there, which I suppose um, is something nowadays, Morris. That I'm not saying it's lost that uh, neighbor, the good neighborhood. Good neighbours. Good neighbours. And uh, people you can go to when, you know, you That's just right. need a wee bit of a chat or, or right. you feel alone. or, oh, or And uh, I think it's, in the world we live in now, uh, I would say bring all that back. Bring back the neighbours. If, if you could, yes. Yeah, and uh, and that sort of, you know, what you're actually mentioning there is the old form of Killian. Killy, you know, the old form of Killian where you go to someone's house and you have a wee chat and they become, you know, your friends and you, you can have a chat. That's right. Isn't that right? That's right. And uh, was that something, I suppose, that was plentiful in the old days? It's practical in the, in the old areas, you know, in, in those days when you're coming growing up. Yeah. But a lot of people have no time for each other now. Yeah. Why do you think that is or what? what oh, the I, television is a big, a big, is a big draw. Yeah. Terrible lot of people. And people are just turning off. They're just... Uh, they're just focusing on the TV. And yeah, televisions. And television is not, it's all right, but it's, it's not, not even, it's, it's, it's the stories of young folk, even uh, even their schoolwork or anything at all like that. Yeah, concentration. Concentration. Yeah, and uh, in your day, concentration was important. Well, uh, I, I I I don't, I don't bother with the television at all. Yeah, do you listen to the radio? Hey? Do you listen to the radio? I would, uh, if I would listen to the radio, I'd listen to the news. Yeah. Just yeah. I like them. I like world news. Yes. 
see what yeah. other countries are doing. Yeah, and uh, well, was, I I shipped. I mean, I shipped seed potatoes out to out to Israel as well. Yeah, and I've I've been round on the way from from the way to Beirut to from Beirut to Syria. You you travel through the the place called the Bekaa Valley, and that was that was more or less a, a big country garden. It's a farm, all the farms and all were in that Bekaa Valley, wow. and it's overlooked. I was over. I was over shot, controlled by the by the Israeli guns. On the, 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 the what there's a name for them, but for, I forget the name. What the yeah. name? But the Israeli guns control and they turn the, the the troubles out there in, that, in those parts of the country. You know. Yeah, and uh, and it's, and it's still going to this day. Aye. And was it going? Was that? Was that hey? type of was that war that split between Palestine and Israel going? No, and that was the Palestinian war and one thing and another yeah. involving. And so again, it's all based at the end of the day in religion. Yes, yeah, yeah. As we spoke about earlier on, as we oh, spoke about right, earlier me. on, and it should to be about people. To me, to me, religion is one of the big the big factors about bringing people to war. Yeah, 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 and. And it's all it's all tied down then. It's like I shouldn't maybe say it on this, but it's like our friend in Russia, Putin. Yeah. He's, he's an, an individualist, and he's big nations. People, you, you get people like that. Yeah. To have them. Hitler was another one. Of them. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You seen that firsthand when you were yes. growing up. Sure. Yeah, and uh, and I suppose that's what probably yeah, makes yeah, you aware yeah, of now sure, the same I'm type of people. Of those things, you know. Yeah, and uh, I'm not. I mean, uh, you just have to. You, 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 I, I don't close the door on them. I, I, I like to read about them and yeah. see what's going on. Yeah, and that's another thing. Uh, I suppose what you're saying there is uh, for people out there. Uh, you talked about the food and all. Uh, is it important to keep up to date and read and that's keep right. keep your mind active? And uh, I suppose for uh, you, you've said there, which is, and I've talked to. Uh, people before from from back in your own generation and they said things like the radio was important for the, you know listening to stories and songs and and just feeling a part of something you know and hearing the news from the world and the world is so wide now i suppose uh, you can't Morris. afford you can't afford not to not to not not to miss that news you know yeah 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 it's important and i suppose for you when you is it all right if I say when you're watching the news of what's going on now uh, and uh, the different countries uh, that uh, uh, war and different things like that, does that make you think back back in the day when you were growing up? I hope this is not well, another. It, it, it does. It, t- it talks. It turns the clock back on you. But yeah, what nothing you can do about it. Yeah, you just have to wait like the like That's for time right. to heal. Yeah, and uh, so what Morris is saying out there and me is. Stop all wars, <laughs> stop them all, and uh, if you could, yes, but yeah, you'll never do that. I will. We'll try. We'll send it out there, and maybe for years and years, people will hear us saying one thing that right. we're into peace, not war. Try to it's very hard to get, keep keep the peace, but it's well worth it if we can. Uh thank you, Morris. That is brilliant. I'm going to check on, on that there. Thank you. And uh, so. I'm sorry for keeping you. You're not keeping me. You're just brilliant. Uh, and we will say, uh, um, look at peace and not war. Morris has said it at, in his 90s that, uh, and has, could I just say, to finish this podcast when you're here, Morris, it's been absolutely amazing having you in here with me this evening. Well, and thank you for coming on. You don't have to move yet. You're all right. Uh, we set all up different for people looking. Half of the podcast... My nose might have been just seen, half of it not. And uh, But uh, the stories Morris gave us was absolutely brilliant. When you look back, I suppose, in time and uh, all the changes that has happened, uh, we've talked about so many things there. We've talked about Morris growing up in the area, the people, the place, the culture, uh, the, the times that you lived in, uh, the success of being a businessman back in the early days, uh, doing tr- what they call now trade deals internationally with all the work that you did, uh, all the people that you met, the countries that you were in. Uh, I think it's absolutely amazing. And you were a man of the sky. You flew the planes. Uh, and uh, and, and uh, you, had, you had good neighbours. Uh, uh, you loved growing up in this town. And uh, 
it's absolutely been a pleasure for me. Uh, uh, when I, I actually knew all about you, yourself and your business, but I didn't know where you lived. But I know now that you, you're the man that when I used to walk out the road to the wooden bridge, the man behind the big wall <laughs> and all the oh, trees. Well. That's you. And uh, it's been absolutely brilliant. And I thank you for coming. And uh, I suppose for me, uh, and this Voices of Experience, it's really important uh, that there's so many things have happened uh, in this town and changed over the years. And you've given insight into what it was like in the past uh, and what it's like now. And for people out there with all your fancy diets and all your uh, things and juices to drink and all these things... Uh, you heard Morris's diet. I think we should make a wee booklet on it. How to stay healthy in uh, the year 2023. And uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Nathan. Um, uh, thank you, uh, Tiernan, who's here, and Stella, and uh, and Doreen, who I was chatting to uh, earlier on, uh, who's collect, who's just come in to collect uh, Morris now. Uh, thank you for coming along. And uh, uh, for everybody involved in us, it's been brilliant. Uh, from Small But Massive Podcast and Voices from the Spurns. Uh, and what the legend that is Morris Taylor, potato merchant, businessman, father, figure, and uh, family steeped in uh, the area of Trooperstown. Give it a listen. Thank you very much. Give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you, Morris. That's been brilliant.